It's National Heart Month, and today we're focusing on ways to make and keep you healthier. Dr. Leah Kroll from the American Heart Association is here with some tips on how to keep heart healthy. Also here is Natalie Rose Haven, open heart surgery survivor here with a great story for us. Good morning to both of you. Good, Good morning. morning. Appreciate you getting up and doing this. I was going to show off your shoes. I don't know if we can do this. Oh. She's got the sparkly, you know, make a statement <laughs> shoes. Ah. Yes. I had to bring some glam in there you the go. You this have morning. To do this. <laughs> um, having fun because obviously you're here, you survived. There I was, my husband and I had just moved to Philadelphia and I was working a temp job um, in Philly for the University of Penn and that had ended around December of 2019. I applied for a different temp job with uh, Penn Medicine and um, I got the job and it was temporary but I needed a um, physical just okay. to be shown that I could sit at a desk and breathe and type, you know, right. it was just a normal physical. And uh, so I went in for a physical and this doctor at Urgent Care said that I had a very abnormal heart murmur that was very concerning. Okay. And I thought nothing of it, you know, I, I just thought, you know, oh, it's probably nothing. I went home, I told my husband, he was like, well, you sounded pretty concerned. I said, well, I feel healthy and fine. And granted, we're during COVID at this time. Yes. So I just was like, there's no big deal. So I, I had a feeling that week that I should go. So I went to see a cardiologist um, with the Virtua Health System and he listened to my heart and he said, you indeed have an abnormal heart murmur. And he said, you know, you're healthy, but we, we should do some tests because this is a very unique one. Okay. So I went in, I took, um, I did a MRI, I did a transesophageal echo, um, I did a echocardiogram, I did the works, the full workup. And every test sort of showed something more severe. Uh, first, it was you have mitral valve prolapse or what is called Barlow syndrome. Um, where the where the valves were not closing correctly. So I want I don't want to get too deep in the weeds because most people may not understand oh, sure, yeah, that sure. part. But so basically you didn't you didn't feel anything. This was a routine. Oh yeah, I had no symptoms at all. Yeah. So is that doc? Is that kind of standard? Like this was just caught because of a routine exam. That's such a good question. Yes and no. You know we have seen lately a lot of celebrities who were healthy professional athletes who had a perfect bill of health and then suddenly they had a cardiac event. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not standard, it's not common, but it's also not unheard of to be perfectly healthy and then to learn that you have a heart condition. Should we be looking for certain things? So you want to be staying on top of your yearly primary care checkup. That's going to be your best bet. And if your okay. primary care doctor raises a concern that they want you to get checked out by a cardiologist, take that concern seriously follow through on that recommendation. And then there are certain symptoms that you're gonna to wanna to talk to your primary about that also may lead them to direct you towards a cardiologist. And symptoms to look out for would be swelling in the legs, shortness of breath that's happening more frequently than you're used to, lightheadedness, and a periodic sense of your heart racing or uh, palpitations. Wow, and you didn't have any of that. Um, I would say that I might have been told, I t was told once that I had an arrhythmia, but it was that a, it was a normal sinus arrhythmia. Okay. And I had occasionally felt a palpitation or two in my life, and um, I was told it was normal. And I think in most cases it can be totally benign. But, um, but yeah, so it all sort of spiraled. I was told I needed open heart surgery. One thing led to another. You and had um, open heart surgery. I had open heart surgery, and I have the scar here, showing off my scar this morning. Very proud of, of <laughs> my, my journey, but um, had open heart surgery, and they totally repaired my, my mitral valve. And you're doing okay now, so I'm now doing you're good. Good, yes, I'm doing okay. very good. I'm, I'm busy, I'm singing, I'm doing, you know, my normal stuff, and I actually, do kind of, I, I do feel a difference. I feel a difference in my lung capacity. I feel a difference in my activity. I would normally ask you to sing. We're not I know. Do that. Can we do <laughs> quickly, because we're running out of time, can we do quickly the tips that people should have to stay healthy? Okay, rapid fire, top five tips. Healthy diet, we love the Mediterranean diet for this. Move a little bit every day, 20 to 30 minutes of brisk walking is more than enough. Um, if you are a smoker, the best thing you can do for yourself is talk to your doctor about how they can help you quit. Mm -hmm. uh, it is never too early to be thinking about this stuff, so if you're young and healthy, keep it that that way go to your yearly checkup and number five make wellness a priority little things like getting enough sleep managing your stress better really do add up over time
Thank you both for coming in. We are so happy everything turned out well. Thank You'll you. come back and sing? Oh, yes. You can sing, right? Oh, I, hope, right. I think so. Right. <laughs> All right, so we will have you yeah, back soon. Yeah, I can soon. sing. I can sing. Thank you both for coming Thank in. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. We appreciate it.